the whole question of women is crucial in the overall struggle, mainly because women are something to be, quote, taken advantage of. Women are, quote, something to be taken for granted. Women are, quote, something to be used and abused. You know, and like these, these things come to my mind when I think of the relationships that men and women have had in my environment. There was no real, what you would say, there was no realness there. Our purpose is to like write and distribute our uh, findings. Our purpose is to bring people together that is affected by or affecting rape. Uh, to re-educate not only the victim or the rapist, but society itself. In the course of writing Beyond God the Father, it struck me that rapism was really a stronger and more accurate word to describe the disease of a phallocentric society than mm. sexism, because it really does get to the very act itself of penetration, violation. And rapism, of course, its primary significance is the physical act itself, which puts all of us into what you call a state of siege, all women. I see the rape of women and the rape of the land and water and, and the rape of blacks, the rape of the poor, of the aged, of children, as all um, profoundly connected. And the basic paradigm is obviously the intrusion upon women, which can happen in what is really admitted to be rape or in the more subtle but sometimes equally devastating mind rapes that happen all the time. I suppose you could call them social misfits. We were just talking about the Thai murderer, Maisie. You better watch out. He rapes them first, doesn't he? Yes, I believe he does. Oh, well, I suppose it's nice to know that every cloud has a silver lining. <laughs> well, you remember the English case where the lawyer <laughs> swung the needle, sewn needle, and you try to put the thread through the eye of the needle? And if the needle keeps moving, and you try to put the thread through the eye, in other words, try to insert the male organ into the female receptacle, and the needle is moving, forget it.